All right, guys. So a couple of days ago, I just woke up and I wasn't feeling the smartest, like every day. But I was gonna download a mod, a replay mod for Minecraft, so I can make a cool video. I messed up. Let me show you why and how I removed the virus that came with it. All right, guys. So the way I got this virus is that I went to this website, replaymod.com, and I downloaded one of their replay mods. Now. The second I did this, I got all these things popping up on different ads and promotions. I managed to decline all of them, but the one that got through was called Yahoo Powered. Basically what it does is it changes all your browsers and such to Yahoo, and it's just kind of annoying. Now I'm going to show you how to remove it from your computer. The first thing you want to do, this is the only thing you have to install, is Revo Uninstaller. It's a free, it's a free thing, and it, it's completely free, and it works very well. I've done some research on this, and Revo Uninstaller is one of the most rate, highest rated uninstallers. First thing you want to go is you want to go to Revo Uninstaller. All right, when it pops up, you're gonna have a list of all of your different applications. Now I've already deleted this, but down here at the bottom, there is going to be a thing called popping up called Yahoo Powered. You want to click on it and delete it. Once you've done that, a couple things may happen. Every time you start up your computer, I don't know if this happens on every single computer, but a little Internet Explorer icon will pop up right here. Now, the way I deleted this is that you want to go to your you want to go to your files, and you're going to want to go to this PC, and you want to look up shortcut, shortcut, and then. An icon will appear up, has the Internet Explorer icon, and will just say shortcut. You want to delete that. Once you've done that, you've complete, you've successfully uninstalled. Now, other thing you want to do, your Chrome is still going to be using the. Go to your settings. Go to and you want to go to advanced, and you're going to want to reset, restore settings to the original default. Once you do that, it'll reset the Chrome, and you'll be good to go. See you next time.